So in this video I'll show you how to pick up and move these boxes around the scene and drop them wherever you want like this. So yeah, let's get started. So I have created this simple unity scene with these boxes that has this rigid body 2D and a box collider 2D and I have made 4 of them. And also I have made this table here which is made up of these rectangles. <coughs> and yeah this little text box that says pick and drop. Alright so if we hit play now the boxes will just fall down to the ground as they should. But we cannot pick them up and drag them around the scene and drop them anywhere. So yeah let's do that right now. And now we have to make a new script for that. And let's just select all these boxes and let's add a script to them. And I'll name it as pickup script, but you can call it whatever you want. So let's hit create an ad. And now let's open this script up inside of Visual Studio. Alright, so now we are in Visual Studio. Here, the first thing we need is to remove the start method because we don't need it. And now let's make a private boolean, call it pressed and set it equal to false. And here we will use uh, Unity's own mouse down function. So whenever we click on the boxes, this function will get called. So on mouse down. And let's just copy and paste it here. And an on mouse up function for when we release the mouse button. So when we press the mouse button, we will set is pressed equal to true. And on releasing the mouse button, we will set it equal to false. Alright, so now inside of the update method, we will check if, if pressed is equal to true. So if that's the case, then we will just get the mouse position and store it in a vector. So let's make a vector 2 here call it mouse position and set it equal to camera.man.screen to point because because the mouse position is in a screen space but we want to change it to the world coordinate so we will use this and in here we will just give it the mouse position so input dot mouse position awesome and now we can just set the transform dot position or the position of our box to this mouse position Alright, just one thing left here, so we also need to make the rigid body set to its kinematic. So let's get the rigid body 2D component and set its kinematic is equal to true. And also let's copy this and paste it down when we release it. So we will set this back to false. Alright, we are doing this because we don't want the physics to mess around with what we are doing in the update method. So yeah, that's all we need to do here. So let's go back inside of Unity. Make sure there are no errors here. And let's just hit play now. So let me try and pick one of these boxes up. Alright, so now I can pick them up and drag them around the scene. As soon as I let go the mouse button, it will fall down to the ground. Or the table in this case. So yeah, that's cool. Now we can just play around with them, place them anywhere we want. And while we are holding the boxes, they can also interact with each other. Like this. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing my channel. So until next time, see ya.